This is an unexpected part three to the um, Yes Paste and Paper Napkin experiments that I've been doing, you know, making these little decals. And uh, this, is, this is really, really important, and I neglected to mention it. I actually forgot about it. <laughs> and y'all aren't going to be happy. <laughs> Because I'm not happy. <laughs> In my excitement over this technique that produces these amazing transparent decals, I neglected to actually test the usability <laughs> of these decals. And there's a little problem. Actually, it's, it's kind of a big problem. Kind of, sort of. But I've been working on a workaround, and, and there are some workarounds, but Okay, here's the thing. Yes, paste is water reversible. Pastes in general are water reversible. That means that after they dry, you can wet them again and they will let go. They completely lose their stickiness. Whereas glue, you know, after it dries, it, it wants to stay stuck. If, if you get Elmer's glue wet after it's dried, it'll soften and kind of loosen up, but it doesn't just throw up its hands and say, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Yes Paste does. So, this is going to cause a problem when you go to adhere your lovely decal to your piece of art. I had intended to use these in Journaling by Fives, right? Which is a very collage kind of, you know, process. We, most of us, end up using quite a bit of Mod Podge or something similar to do the, the decoupage technique for our collage pieces. And by decoupage technique, I mean under, over with the glue, right? You put the glue down, you put this down, you put glue over. I, I call that the decoupage technique. That's what I had in mind for these. Will not work with these. Um, you can't use any kind of Mod Podge or Elmer's white glue, any kind of a water-based glue is going to give you a problem. Hi, honey, I'm home. Hi. I'm filming. Oh, okay, sorry. It's okay. I got the milk you asked for. Thank you. Can I have a kiss? So, okay, let me back up. Let me show you what I did. I've been experimenting with different adhesives. Now, sticking it down to a page is not a problem. You know, you, you can take one of these guys, you can glue it, put some uh, glue stick, works fantastic, or um, a tape runner, anything like that. That'll stick it down. That's not the issue. It's the, um, that the whole decoupage thing, you know, putting glue over it and layering other images on top. That's where you're going to have a problem. I went and experimented with several different adhesives. These are bits and pieces of a yes pasted napkin with different adhesives to see which ones might be able to work with it. The answer is really none of them, <laughs> but the answer is also all of them kind of sort of <laughs> in moderation. Uh, before I get too far, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what happens. Okay, this is a scrap. This, this napkin did not survive the, the peeling process. So, I'm going to take a piece of it. This has been yes pasted. I'm going to uh, put it on here like I would if I was making a collage piece. I'm going to use Mod Podge. I left the lid off the Mod Podge earlier and now it's got a weird film on it. Okay, I would normally do something like that, right? I would do this. It's really going to go cut my brush. Oh, it's okay. And then I would do this. Okay, you probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see it right away. But what is happening here is the Mod Podge, which has a high water content, is starting to loosen the Yes Paste. 
Do you see it starting to get wrinkly? Yeah, it's making the yes paste let go. <laughs> and uh, there, there are times when I've run my brush across there just like I did a minute ago, and it picks up the yes paste and just makes this gummy, disgusting mess. This, eventually, the um, Mod Podge will dry because, you know, it dries fairly fast. Yes Paste dries slow. It will start to seep through the Mod Podge because it's wet. It's now, you know, loosened up and getting back to its wet stage. And look. That's the a combination of Mod Podge and Yes Paste. Not really a desirable uh, thing to happen, right? And like I said, even letting it dry is not, uh, doesn't do the trick. So, what you going to do about that? Well, here's what you can do. I have several ideas. You can use Mod Podge if you use a tea tiny bit, and I mean tea tiny. Okay, you can take, um, almost like dry brush it on. Just barely enough, I think that was more water than Mod Podge. Barely enough to, to get it to stick and then take your, where is it, your napkin. Stick it down. Let it dry. And it's going to kind of start loosening the Yes Paste underneath, but, you know, you don't have very much of it, so you should be okay. I'm going to use my heat gun and kind of speed it up. And by the way, heat guns usually don't work too well with paste because the heat doesn't dry and harden the paste. It just softens and melts it. <laughs> but my heat gun has a cool setting on it, which is just room temperature, so that's what I'm going to use. Hey, does my heat gun look brand new? Uh, I cleaned it. First time in 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Got a wild hair, you know. Now, if I um, just to, you know, take some Mod Podge and start doing this, it's going to do the same thing it did a minute ago. It's going to loosen up the yes paste on top and make a gummy mess. But if I take just a tea tiny bit again go over it, let it dry. I've been having fairly good luck with that. I'm going to let that dry real good. I have another one that I did earlier. This one. This one I put a thin, some thin, a thin coat of Mod Podge on the paper, glued down the piece of napkin, and then I put two thin coats of Mod Podge on top, letting it dry between each one. So now, let's do, let's do the acid test. Let's just put straight water on there and see. Okay, see this is good. It's not gumming up like that other one. Oh, that works really well. So, you can do this with Mod Podge, but you have to use a very, very, very tiny amount, just enough to barely get it to stick, and then a couple of coats over the top, drying between each, and it'll work. I tried it with some different things, and they all worked about the same way. <laughs> okay, this is what I tried. I tried, I can't, okay, this is the Craft Bond Gel Glue. Um, yeah, it, it, it boogered up really bad. I wasn't crazy about that. This is Fast Finish Decoupage Glue. This one. This is that weird glue that's like water and, and no one really knows how it works, but it does. It actually, it did fairly well, which is crazy because it's the wateriest of all the glues, but apparently that's not really water. <laughs> apparently that is some chemical because <laughs> it didn't, it didn't cause the boogers that the other one did. <laughs> Um, matte medium worked fairly well as well. This one is super loaded matte medium, which is one that is just really, 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 really matte. This one's regular matte medium, like this. 
gel medium is right here soft gel medium no that didn't work I know you can't really tell much of what happened here because um, I've, I've already sealed up and mod podged over them but it didn't work well and I think the difference between the reason why the the um, gel medium didn't work as well as the matte medium even though this is thinner and runnier I think it's because since this is thicker it stayed wet longer this dried faster therefore it didn't really have time to gum up as bad as this one did while it was trying to dry you know I think that was the issue with that one this is the ultimate glue crafters pick ultimate glue which is similar to tacky glue it was a nightmare of, of boogered up look and this one is perfect paper adhesive which worked fairly well uh, let me what have I got on there I don't even know if you have some perfect paper adhesive this or matte medium I had the best luck with and I have you know you have to kind of use it just like I did the um, Mod Podge thin layer on the bottom thin layer on the top is that the one I just did I've lost track of where I am I guess it is Okay. And if you're not going to be doing anything else, if you're just, you know, going to stick your neck and down and then that's it, you're done, then you don't even have to worry with this if you don't want to. Just put glue stick on the back and stick it down and it, you know, it's perfectly fine. But if you're going to be in a collage type situation, you need to know how to handle it. Okay. That is the perfect paper adhesive. Which you can see it doesn't cause nearly the wrinkling and buckling that the Mod Podge did. Let's see if I can get it to dry. Okay. That feels dry. That is perfect paper adhesive. Thin coat on the bottom, thin coat on the top. And let's see how it holds up to water. very well. The paste is not gumming up and making little boogers. So there we go. And that was my criteria really was just to see you know which adhesives worked to stick it down, glue over and under, and would seal it well enough so that I can continue to layer. So if you're going to use these little guys in a collage decoupage fashion, you are going to have to use a tea tiny amount of Mod Podge or Elmer's or white glue or whatever kind of liquid glue decoupage medium that you have. A little, little tiny bit and dry it between coats or use also a tea tiny bit of perfect paper adhesive or matte medium those will work. And you just have to be patient. Use a little TLC, you know, take your time and it'll be fine. But it's definitely not <laughs> the slap it down thing that I was kind of hoping it would be. <laughs> so that's okay. It's just a fussy little technique. I also wanted to show you, okay, I talked about how I'm going to use some of my images in my um, journaling by fives with a buddy thing but being transparent the background is really going to show through which will make these foregrounds sink right into the background so to kind of uh, prevent that on some of them I turned them over and I used either a little bit of gesso or I used this white the Faber-Castell pit pen the white one and just kind of colored in the areas that I wanted to make more opaque so that they would stand out on a dark busy background 
There we go. So you can see the, um, see this part I didn't gesso, and you can see through it quite well, but the flower petals I did gesso, and they're still a little bit, a little bit see-through, but not so much that they disappear. They stand out quite well, and I just did that on uh, several different pieces. What's that little owl that I thought was so cute? This is off of a really cute napkin. Love that little owl, but it was really see-through. It had a, a light, really light blue background. And uh, so I went in and just used my white pen on the back so that he wouldn't get too lost when I attach him to whatever I end up attaching him to. He'll be a little bit more noticeable. All right, so there's your tip for that. And several people uh, have asked, well, can't I just do this with Mod Podge or gel medium? Okay, you can do gel medium decals in, in a very similar way. I have a video on that, and they're very, very similar to this. Um, not exactly the same, and they don't look exactly the same. But, you know, there are lots of different ways to make decals. Can you just do this with Mod Podge? I got that question a lot. Okay, yes and no. Uh, let me... Okay, these were both done with Mod Podge onto Deli Wrap. You need to make sure the Deli Wrap that you're using is one that will... Um, let go really good. <laughs> you know, my Ukrainian deli wrap is awesome. Nothing is sticking to it. Other brands I've had issues with, so it's going to vary. Uh, you might have better luck with parchment paper. I did these with Mod Podge, and here's what I found. This one was hard to tell because it's a dark napkin. You can see through it, but it's hazy on the back. It's not completely transparent, and I know it's kind of difficult to see, but there is a, a white uh, paper haze, whereas on our, our other ones, on the Yes Paste, there's no haze at all. It is completely as transparent as it can get. So, yeah, it works kind of, sort of, but not as well, not exactly. So, hope that answers that question. And if you're thinking, well, what if I just take and coat my napkins with, you know, a light coat of Mod Podge or, or PPA or whatever before using them, and then that way they're already protected from the moisture. Can't I just do that? <laughs> if you do, you're going to get something that looks like this. <laughs> And it, it completely changes the feel of the napkin. Um, it, it just becomes totally different. I did it on a couple of ones, different ones. This one I used matte medium to try to coat it, you know. And it wrinkled pretty bad. Um, this one, I used gel medium, which was just a disaster. It was kind of cool looking disaster, but still, you know, not the look I was going for. So yeah, it doesn't really work to, you know, coat your napkins with a sealer of some kind before you work with them. Um, someone did suggest a Krylon spray sealer. I don't have any, or I would have tested that. I have a feeling that that would work really well. Uh, that might be just a really good thing to seal them with, and, and I might pick some up this weekend and give that a try. Okay, I thought I was finished, but I just thought of a couple things <laughs> that I need to tell you. So, uh, P.S. <laughs> you do want to make sure that you store your decals either separated with wax paper or parchment paper or some kind of nonstick paper or put them single file into something. I think I'm going to use sheet protectors for mine. I don't know if they're going to stick to the sheet protectors. I may have to get some of those, you know, those non-glare uh, 
the ones that are not real slick, those kind of sheet protectors, I'm not sure. But I intend to put mine in those kind of single file, laid out so they don't touch each other. Um, or use paper in between them. The reason is because your decals like to get a little overly friendly with each other and it may be just because I live in a really humid climate, I don't know. But these two were sitting together here and as you can see they've bonded really, really well. And uh, yeah, there's just no separating them at this point. So don't let this happen to you. Fortunately, you know, that's one thing I really love about this is that this is just one piece of a napkin. Normally the napkin has four of whatever image is on there. You know, not all of them, but a lot of the smaller napkins are like that. So, you know, you have extras. <laughs> not a big deal. <laughs> but still, you know, after um, putting the S paste on, letting it dry, cutting it out, you know, you don't want to have that happen, so make sure you keep them away from each other. And if you're curious to know whether you can thin out your yes paste, dilute it, and if that will work, mm, yes and no. I did one like that, and it's just, I mean, it's got the transparency going on, even though this is a solid color, so it's hard to tell. But it's still very paper napkin-y, you know, very much easier to tear, not as sturdy. Um, so yeah, it can be diluted, but the result is a little bit different. So there's that. And I did want to show you some actual application, because you know we talked about all this. Uh, be careful with uh, Mod Pods and putting wet stuff on them. But it can be done if you do it carefully. These were decoupaged with Mod Podge, just like I was talking about. Very light coat on the bottom. Let it dry, at least dry to the touch. And then a light to medium coat on the top. I found that once you get the coat on the bottom and let it dry, the top coat doesn't have to be as thin. And these, I put some uh, Daddy Vans over them after they were completely dry, and y'all, <laughs> they just feel so good. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the Mod Podge does work if you do it carefully. The Really, the trick is to, whether you put it on really thin or a little bit thicker, just make sure that, um, let me get my brush here. You apply your Mod Podge and you just do like this. Don't do this with your Mod Podge because that's going to make the Yes Paste loosen up and it's going to get all gummy. Just use single strokes, single smooth strokes with plenty of uh, enough Mod Podge on your brush to keep the brush from dragging across it. So you'll, you'll have to, you know, I'll my, my, take a couple of test runs to get the feel for it, but you'll get it, and it's not difficult once you get it. And I went ahead and just to, you know, make sure that it was going to work in a live environment. <laughs> I put some in my little junk journal thing here. <clears throat> These were just scraps of Yes Pasted napkins, and I adhered them with uh, Mod Podge in the decoupage technique, you know, under and over, and they've done really well. You know, this is napkin on top of napkin on top of napkin, and it is absolutely fantastic. And I did Daddy Vans these, so, you know, they've got a nice sheen to them, and they don't stick, because this is Mod Podge, which really likes to, you know, stick to itself, but not with Daddy Vans. See these layered beautifully, and some of these are funky looking because they, they were my experiments. But I really, I kind of like this texture. It's almost like a, it feels like a vinyl or like linoleum is what it reminds me of. 
<laughs> it really just kind of kind of makes me happy. But it does work in uh, in a collage environment. Just so you know. Okay, I think that is all I needed to tell you. Um, yeah, don't don't store them stacked on each other. Put something between them or lay them out in a single layer. And be careful with the Mod Podge. So, the end. <laughs>